Okay, I want to hit up some um, equations because the next thing, this is 6.2 intro. That's what this assignment's called. I want to practice this because in the next unit you're going to need these skills and then some, but you will, you got to practice these skills as a simpler view. So we have x minus 7 equals negative 6. So I, my job is to solve the equation for x. So there's only one x in this equation, there's no parentheses, so I make the wall on that side. And if you want to apply a 1 to that x, that's the multiplier, okay? 7's negative, okay? So the opposite of negative 7 is plus 7, so you add 7, you add 7. So you line up your equals and you have 1 times x. Negative 6 plus 7 is 1, okay? And then you can just divide by 1, but the answer is still 1. Putting the 1 there seems kind of pointless, but I guess it can't hurt. Okay, next problem, negative 4x equals negative 12. So x is here, the multiplying number is 4, you can circle that. Remember, that's a negative 4. So we can go straight to divide, divide both sides by negative 4. So the negative 4 is cancel, and the negative 12 divided by negative 4 is 3. Okay. Next problem, negative 8 plus x equals 15. So x is over here. It would have a coefficient of 1. That means basically there is no multiplication, but I'll put a 1 there. So get your negative 8 out of there. you got to get your negative 8 to 0. So you would add 8 and add 8 on the other side of the wall. So I line up my equals. You have 1 dot x. 15 plus 8 is 23. Okay. Then divide both sides by 1. 23 divided by 1 is 23. Okay, next one. x divided by negative 4 equals 10. If you see the division operation, the division bar, that's operate, the line means division, don't put a multiplying number there. Okay, you're going to circle the division operation. Okay, so the opposite of divides to times. So timesing doesn't really matter how you do it. So you have x before the equals. And over here we now have negative 4 times 10. That's negative 40. Okay, next one. We've got negative 4 equals negative 3x plus 11. So solving for x. x is on this side. Okay, so negative 3 and x. Again, I'd have a multiplier of negative 3. you got to get your 11 to 0, so you would subtract 11. Okay, negative, and that, that goes away. So negative 4 minus 11 is negative 15, and over here you got negative 3 times x. Okay, so the they get what they get three times what number is negative fifteen? Well, let's divide both sides by the negative three and figure that out. So equals x is over here. Negative fifteen divided by negative three is five. Okay, next problem. Negative 6 plus x divided by 2 equals 5. So again, the wall lines up over here on this side of the equals. Again, I have I don't have I don't put a multiplication operation if I already have division. Okay. So get rid of that negative 6. You're gonna add 6, add 6. So line up your equals. You have x divided by 2, and then 5 plus 6 is 11. Now, the opposite of divide 2 is times 2, so I can just times 2 by 11. The reason why timesing just needs a little loop is because 2 times 11 is 22. Okay. okay, next problem. Negative 3x minus 7 plus 9x equals 24. Okay. Um, first off, you can see the equation has two x's. Okay. Oh, don't make the wall yet. Okay. Equation has two x's. Fortunately for us, they're on the same side of the equals, so I just make the little v and write the word add. So line up your equals. 
and you're going to be adding negative 3 and positive 9. Okay, negative 3 plus 9 is 6, 6x. You still got the minus 7, that would be plus negative 7. And over here you got 24. So now I can make my wall. The x has a multiplication operation with the 6, so I get rid of my negative. So actually, make that a 23. I, it's, I'm, not, I'm changing the problem, because otherwise I'm going to end up with a weird answer. I change the 24 to a 23. Okay, so you're going to plus 7, plus 7. That's how you get rid of a negative 7. Add 7. So you have 36 times x. Okay. Then 6 times what's 30? Well, the opposite of times is to divide. So 6 and 6. 30 divided by 6 is 5. So x equals 5. Okay, now the next one's going to take some work. 2x minus 4, parentheses x plus 3, equals negative 14. Well, this parentheses has got to go. Okay, it really does. So, outside you have a multiplier of 4. Since it has a minus, it's a negative 4. Okay, you can apply a 1 in front of the x if you want. It doesn't really matter. Okay, if you do a 1, that's fine but you need to distribute your negative 4 to x and then after the plus your negative 4 to 3 times x times 3 negative 4 times x is just negative 4x if you want to put the 1 it's still negative 4 negative 4 times 3 is negative 12 so I line up the equals and on this side we have negative 4x plus negative 12 then I cross out the parentheses and the negative 4. I found that product, but I still have a 2x that we need to add to this side. And we have negative 14. Now you have two x's in the equation, but again, they're on the same side, so I can just connect them and write the word add. Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2x plus the negative 12. And then over here we have our negative 14. Okay, so wall. Multipliers a negative 2, that's the operation with the negative 2, then the negative 12 we have to take to 0 by adding 12, plus 12, plus 12. Okay, negative 12 plus 12 is 0, and I still got negative 2 times x over there. Negative 14 plus 12 is negative 2. Then I divide both sides by the negative 2. Those cancel, and I have x, negative divided by negative is a positive, it's 1. It's not 0, okay? When you divide a number by itself, the answer is 1. Okay, next one, 3, parentheses, x minus 6 equals 7 minus 2x. So that parentheses has got to go, okay? It really does. So you get the times. I don't like that minus inside, so it's plus negative 6 then. I distribute 3 to x and 3 to negative 6 times x times negative 6. So this is 3x, this is negative 18. So line up your equals, and on this side you write 3x plus negative 18. Then you cross out the parentheses and the 3, there's nothing else over there, and I move to the other side. Now you have two x's, but they're on opposite sides. In the previous two problems, they're on the same side, but they're on opposite sides. So I got a positive 3 and a plus negative 2. So negative 2 is the smaller one. Okay. So to get that to 0, I'd plus 2x, and then go to the other side and plus 2x to the 3x. So line up your equals, and you'd have 5x plus negative 18. And on the other side, you got 7. Now your equation is simplified enough where the x appears once. So the multiplication operations with the 5. And then adding negative 18. So we have to get rid of the negative 18. So if it's a negative 18, you add 18. Add 18 to the other side of the wall. So line up the equals. That's 0, so I, that's why I'm crossing it out. Negative 18 plus 18 is 0. 7 plus 18 is 25. So I divide both sides by the 5. So 25 divided by 5 is 5. OK, 
Okay, next problem. We've got negative 12 equals 6 plus 3 fourths x. Okay. So here's the x. The multiplier is a fraction. That's okay. We'll get that 6 to 0. Now, <coughs> if it doesn't have a sign in front of it, it's a positive 6. So we'll take it to 0. You minus 6. Minus 6. Line up the equals. So negative 12 minus 6 is negative 18. And on the other side, you got your 3 fourths times x. Now, multiplication, I divide. I'm going to put a fraction underneath the dividing lines, but it still works. Okay. So I take a calculator and simply take negative 18 divided by 3 ABC4, negative 24. Just because a multiplier is a fraction, you can still divide by a fraction. Okay, next one, I've got 5 eighths x minus 7 equals negative 22. So here's the x. The multiplier is 5 eighths. So that's a negative 7 outside. Get that to 0 by adding 7. Add 7 to your negative 22. So I, got, I still got 5 eighths times x over here. And negative 22 plus 7 is negative 15. Okay, now, just because it's multiplied by a fraction, you can still divide by a fraction. Okay, it's not hard. You can still do that. So negative 15 divided by 5 eighths. The negative 15 is going to grow in value because I'm dividing by a fraction less than 1. Negative 24. Okay, next one, 5 minus 1 third x equals negative 15. So over here. Now the multiplier is a 1 third. Since it's minus, it's a negative 1 third. Okay. Okay, so get your 5 to a 0. Remember, that's a positive 5. It doesn't have a sign. So you're going to subtract 5 and then subtract it from negative 15. Line up your equals. So negative 1 third times x. Negative 15 minus 5 is negative 20. And then I'm dividing by the negative 1 third, the whole fraction. The whole fraction. Okay. So negative 20 divided by negative 1 third. I got 60. Okay. By the way, 20 divided by 1 third is the same as 20 times 3. It's the same thing. Okay, next one. One third plus four six x equals two thirds. Here's a wall, okay? So the multiplier is a fraction. We have this fraction outside, so we get rid of it, but it's positive, so we get rid of it by subtracting. Line up the equals, you have four six times x over there still. Two thirds minus one third, it'd be one third, because two minus one's one, and then the three stays the same. Now, you can divide fractions. You have a calculator that can do that if you're at school. Okay, so I take one third divided by four, six. Okay, I got one half. Okay, next one, 1 half x equals 8. There's x multipliers a half. I don't have anything I have to add or subtract. I go straight to the division by 1 half. So 8 divided by 1 half. 16. Again, I treat the fraction multipliers the same as I do the integer multipliers. Negative 3 fourths x equals 9. So x has a multiplier. It might be a fraction, but that's okay. There's no number outside. I'm going to divide each side of the equation by negative 3 fourths. Okay, so 9 divided by negative 3, 4, ABC 4, I got negative 12. Okay, negative 12 over 7x equals 48. 
So x again as a fraction multiplier. I don't have to, there's nothing outside there I would need to take to zero by adding, subtracting, so I just divide by negative 12 over 7. Those factors can't, remember when you take x times and divide it by the same thing, they just go away. Okay. 48 divided by negative 12 sevenths is going to be negative 28. Okay, next one, 5 fourths x equals negative 15. So right there, the multiplier is 5 over 4. And we just go divide both sides by the fraction 5 fourths. You can divide by a fraction. It's not like it's a rule. You can't do that. Negative 15 divided by 5, abc4, that's negative 12. And finally, this one's a little bit tough. One third x plus three equals two thirds x minus five. Okay, we have two. I can't make the wall. There's two x's. Okay, they're on opposite sides. So this is my smaller one. One smaller than two. They both have threes. So minus one third x. Go under the two thirds and minus one third x. So line up your equals. You have three. 2 minus 1 is 1 third minus 5. So now the x is over it on that side. The multiplier is the fraction 1 third. Minus 5 would be plus negative 5. So you have to get that to 0. So you would add 5 and then go to the other side of the wall and add 5. So I line up my equals. 3 plus 5 is 8. And 1 third times x means taking 1 third times x gives us an answer 8. So what's x? Well, we do the opposite of divide, which is times. So 1 third, 1 third. So I take 8 divided by 1 third. Basically, it's the same process, just with a fraction. It's 24.